And this is a picture of my grand picture of my grandmother and grandfather. A wedding picture, I think, and uh, he died when he, my mother was nine years old. And their names? Oh, Laura and Walter Davis. Also, Laura and Walter Davis, and that's my mother standing, Wenzel, Lytle, and her sister, Juanita. This is also my grandmother, Davis, and the tallest girl is Wenzel. Below her would be Juanita. To the left would be Winona. She was a baby. And behind her would be, I don't know, Juanita. I'm mixed up, I think. Stop. That's a picture of my mother, Wenzel Davis. For my dad, Pearl Franklin Lytle, when he's a kid, I think. Studio photo of my dad. Picture of myself and my sister Laverne. Oh, this is a picture of my brother Wallace and I. It looks like we've been fishing, but I expect it had been my dad. But anyway, when we lived a summer up at Summit Prairie. This is a picture of my dad, Pearl Lytle, and his brother, Ted Lytle, and his sister, Ruby. This is my mom and dad and the kids. This is my mom and dad, I think about the early 60s. This is my great-grandma Dipper, my grandmother's mother, who was England. <laughs> this is Percy Pratty of my uncle who died about when he was about 16 years old. That's close enough. My grandpa and grandma Farrell, my mother's folks, and my sister. At, in Scapoos in 1905, it's my mother, Nina Farrell. <laughs> my mother, Nellie Farrell, before they moved to Central Oregon. Yeah, that's what they need to do. I'm feed at Grandma and Grandpa Farrell's with my uncle and aunt. And on the right, sitting on the ground, is my mother and dad. Very good. Uncle John and the 19 ch 1910 Chalmers, the first car owned by my parents. It was taken in 1913 in Portland when my my sister was three months old. It's my mother and dad. On Trout Creek the, at the home ranch, veiled in 1912. Bernabe and Uncle John. What was it? It's a baby picture. Oh, didn't know who this was. That's just a freak you <laughs> ain't threw in there. Picture <laughs> Lloyd and Peril back when. What about going to Belknap Springs in 1919, Mother and Dad, Farrell, and I. Spotted horse, my dad bought from the Indians. He bucked me off in the snow once, not very long after we bought him. And my sister, good looking gal, that's all I can remember about it. My graduation picture in 1936, in high school. This is a picture of my dad and mother taken sometime in the 50 after he retired and moved to Redmond. Paul and Neva, his wife Neva and Harold taking it to the ranch at Antelope. It was probably a fall of 36 after I got out of high school. We cut the trees down and drug them down on the flat Drilled holes in them, 
and burnt them out and burnt the heart of them to make log troughs. And this is a picture of the, the, the process down in the board hall on the upper branch. How's that? This is a picture of Harold, Harold, I mean Farrell, Bernard May and Morris and I. It says we're harvesting wheat for the sheep. Picture of Farrell and I and our four head of sheep we broke to work. Picture of Farrell, Morris and I and our sheep we had broke to work. Farrell and Bernard May with our eight head sheep getting the clock striking in there too. That's a senior picture of part of our football team with me holding the ball. Madras High basketball team in 1936. Just a picture of me. Me chasing cows. of us moving the cattle to the upper ranch. There's about a thousand head in that, if you can see them clear up in the lead. Out camp in the fall, looking for, I guess, the stragglers. <laughs> that isn't very good. A couple of stupid guys playing around. <laughs> a good looking girlfriend I had back in my courting days. Picture of yeah, the parade in Madras and the little guys roaring on that spotted horse. It buck Lloyd off in the snow. <laughs> the spotted horse bucked me off back when I was pretty small in the snowstorm. He's getting ready to move Cattle Gateway and Coming out of the corral, he turned the wrong direction. I kicked him out the head of him, and he bucked me off in the snow. Didn't hurt me any, but one of the fellows who was helping us getting started went back and told my mother she ought to broke my arm, and she worried all day about that. It never hurt me a bit, but my pride. Good enough. A bunch of cattle at the ground, up the grounds, at the head of Poison Hollow. Another bunch of cattle at the Roundup, I think it's at Seven Springs. Another gathering of the cattle, I think it's at Seven Springs or at the Roundup grounds. Picture one of my girlfriends back in my courting days. And some cattle at the home ranch. Picture of a loose cowboy. Played Doris back in the courting days. Oh, yes. Lloyd and Doris back in 1945 after the ranch was sold with the steers that were supposed to be going to market. Lloyd and Doris again. With her married to her first husband. Lloyd <laughs> oh, endorsed at the reception of the Friday house. Okay. This is a picture about 1948 when I worked for the Stays of Brand Inspector. That's me over here on a on, a, on this side. <laughs> the man raised his arms, the auction here. This is a picture of my grandmother and grandfather, Lewis. They lived in Portland. A picture of Wallace, my brother, at four and a half, and myself at two and a half. And we were living at Summit Prairie. My dad was working for Hakery Ranch at the time. This is my High school class when we were sophomores, and this is me, where my thumb is. This is a picture taken of me when I was working for the Kennedys 
at Willowdale. And I could ride a horse, not very well. Picture me at the World's Fair in San Francisco. My folks went down and took me along. I think I was probably about a sophomore in high school. This is a truck, my dad's truck, loaded with bones to haul to Portland during the World War II. He hauled scrap iron and anything he could find that they could recycle to use during the war. Another picture of me when I worked for the Kennedys at Willowdale. This is a picture of Wallace and I after he went into the Air Force and he was stationed at Fort Ord, I think. Picture of my boyfriend before he was my boyfriend. He and Claire Cram and and some of us went to the pageant at the Mirror Pond in Bend on the 4th of July. Oh, yeah, okay. This is Lloyd on the horse with Harold when we lived at Cinder Butte Ranch. Cinder Butte Ranch, where we moved when Judy was a baby and we lived there 14 years. Myself and Harold and Raymond playing with the truck at Grandma and Grandpa's house in Mavers. This is Harold and Raymond taking on at Grandma Lytle's house on the piano bench. This is Lloyd with Judy on the horse and Raymond and Harold on the fence. That's in their view. This is Judy indulging in her favorite fruit, watermelon. What a mess she got to be. <laughs> Kids in their wagon at Cinder Butte, 1948. This is Judy on Paul Loftus's car at their place in Madras, Laverne Falls. Judy on her third birthday at Grandma Lytle's. Judy with her great-grandmother, Laura Davis, at the Lytle's house up on the hill in Madras. This is Lloyd and Gideon Davis and Raymond building a bathroom for the house in Cinder Butte. There's just the three kids at Cinder Butte. He and Raymond and Judy on the front steps at Bill and Ruby Proffer's house. Ruby was a Lytle. The tractor at Cinder Butte. This is self explanatory and I don't know the date. This is Harold playing cowboy and his dad at Cinder Butte. Another picture of Harold I don't know the date on. Judy was dressed up for a 4-H show at the fair or something. It's a picture of our kids and Lloyd at Cinder Butte. It looks like Pa's getting shorter all the time. Raymond's 8th grade graduation picture. This is Trixie on the ground, Pudgy jumping for a waffle, and I am feeding them there in front of the house, at the back of the house at Cinder Butte. It's a picture of me on a horse called Star, and I think we were up uh, in the Fall River area somewhere. 
these next four pictures are of some of the Priority family at the Centennial Celebration in Redmond. Had some of them in there. <laughs> 